Nothing you can say is going to put me off Charlie. So just spit it out. When you were at the hospital the other night, me and Charlie went back to the pub. Oh, what? He made a pass at you? I've been there, done that. I'm not impressed. You think you're the one who can change him, don't you? You think he'll treat you differently to me and all the others. Well, you're wrong, Tracy. Because while you were at the hospital, looking after your daughter, we were... We were at it in the pub. <laughs> in your dreams, Shelley. God, I knew you were off your rocker. It's true, Tracy. He hates your guts. He wouldn't touch you with a barge pole. He did it for kicks, to prove that he could still do it, to humiliate me. You can't stand to see us happy. That's what all this is about. He hasn't changed, Tracy. He's still the same man he was with me. That's why I'm warning you. I don't believe a word of it. You're just out to split us up. This is what this is about. It's your idea of a farewell gift. Well, don't, don't believe me, then. At least I can leave here with a clear conscience. What, after you've slept with my boyfriend? After letting you know what type of man he is. He can't help himself, Tracy. Well, neither can you, by the sounds of it. Why would you sleep with a man that you obviously hate? So either you're lying, or you've got a really weird way of getting your kicks. You know what he's like. You know how he manipulates people. He does it to you. I've seen him. So if you're so wise to his tricks and you can see right through him, why would you have sex with him? <gasps> because he said things about the past. Things I wanted to believe. Things that that made all the pain of the past go away. And when I gave in, I wanted him. I admit it. <laughs> well, it just, it just all sounds very far-fetched to me. No doubt that's what Charlie will say. But Tracy, it happened. And what you choose to do about it well, that's up to you. Uh, Shelley, um, just wait. <coughs> that's just in case you're telling the truth. 